Okay, if you're looking for a super simple power indicator for 120 volts or 240 volts AC, you can use this setup right here. It's pretty easy. I got the 120 coming in right there. Got to have a fuse. Uh, the, as low as possible. If you get 100 milliamps, that's even better. If you get a 50 milliamp, whatever you can get, just get a low one. That feeds into... Right now you can see the diode, the LED is on the white. Feeds into an LED. And if you notice, there's also a 1N4003. Now you got to use at least a 4003. But anything higher than that is even better. A 404, 5, 6, or 7. But you have to have that. Because I noticed if you don't have that, the LED burns out. Because you're only running on half the cycle. So the LED, it's not flickering. You, really, you can't see any flickering. And that limits the current. That's a 47K ohm quarter watt. You could probably go a little lower, 30 something. But if you go lower than that, then it starts to heat up. But right now it stays cool at 47. And this is more than bright enough. And you don't want it bright, you just want to have an indicator light. And I unplugged it like 20 times. It does not burn out, even going really fast on off, on off. And I also had this set up used for about probably a year already on another project I built. So it does work. You could run this on you could run the LED on AC power. And this is exactly how to do it. If you want to run it on 240 instead of 120, just double this resistor. Put 100k there. And if it, if it heats up a little bit, then put a, a half watt instead of a quarter. But don't forget this diode. Without that diode, you're gonna you're gonna fry that LED.